Hey guys, and welcome back to Dino Crisis 2. When we last left off, we were fighting this motherfucker. Um, right, let's, I guess, switch up to our torpedo launcher. Probably going to be the best thing that we have to deal with this thing. Uh, yep. I guess that works. Maybe should have brought some more torpedoes. Maybe. And we are getting some... Seriously... Really? Really? Oh, come on. We're getting some awful camera angles for this thing. Come on. Hopefully we can get at least a somewhat decent... Are you going to aim? No? No? Okay. No. We don't need to aim at that thing, do we? No, let's just keep aiming at the fucking wall. Oh, game design. God, you know, really? Yep, she's just going to aim at the wall. It's interesting how, you know, we laugh at modern games, but by God, we've come some freaking distance from this. Right, here it comes. Here it comes. There we go. Oh, that's the hit of the whole fruit right there. Now, let's uh, chow down on some recovery. Let's go smoke one of those bad boys. She makes us feel a little bit better. At least we're getting a lot of points from like hitting this thing. Really? You're going to do me dirty like that? And what is the... What was the quick turn button? That's another thing I do kind of like about modern games as well. The fact that we've like standardized controller uh, combinations. Oh, right. So you... Wow. Oh. The water current is presently normal. Deactivating defense mode. Oh. I mean... That was anticlimactic. Uh, oh, okay. Well, I mean, I, I guess that thing's dead. But then, you know, how many torpedoes to the brain could it possibly take, I suppose? How? My God. How much health did they think we were going to lose to that thing? It took what? I don't know. Five torpedoes, I guess? Because I did miss an awful lot of torpedoes. Yeah, hopefully that T-Rex is going to be a little bit more of a challenge than that. Because, I mean, that was... That was pretty pathetic actually okay right so where are we going I just saw some doors that were locked off but was that not the way we came in ah no it looks like up there maybe up here and then this way so is this just like a tiny little run around oh yeah alright I guess this is just a little tiny runaround room. I thought this was... Oh, great. I thought this was like a huge arena. But can we not boost up there? Can we... Really? No, nope, I guess we can't boost up there. Okay. So let's very slowly plod along. And uh, we've already checked that. That was like a weak source healing. Yeah. Oh, that's a medium med pack. All right, well, I mean, we'll we'll take one for free. I mean, that thing was worth a somewhat decent amount of money, I suppose. Not a huge amount of money, but I guess 10k in the bank is 10k, right? Uh, I guess we're not going to be fighting any more of those things either. Um. Okay. So, where are we going from here, then? Ah, right. No. Ah, you son of a bitch. Alright. This is going to be something, isn't it? That's okay. We can handle this. We can handle this. Oh, yeah, you can't just take the shortcut that way, either. You have to go all the way back round with the bouncy, jumpy thing. I hope we don't have to come underwater again. Because, I'm going to be honest, so far, this bit has been absolute arse cakes. 
Like, yeah, I mean, the rest of the game's been fine and dandy and fun and all that good stuff. But, no, oh, we're going to miss it, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, we need to jump right on the very edge of that ledge. Yeah, the rest of the game's been fine. Can we speed this up? We can. Oh, kind of. But this is just garbage. I'm not a fan of this underwater stuff at all. I think it just kind of... Well, I would say it kind of went on and dragged, but it wasn't that long. Not really. It's just really fun, frustrating. And I think that comes down to the fact that the controls are already fairly questionable and in inadequate. So to add like an extra layer on top of that, yeah, not great. But anyway, enough about that. Let's see if we can finally get to this door. Uh, wow, they did expect you to possibly lose a lot of health on that boss. This is where it's going to be like, you don't have the correct key. An elevator power panel. Will you operate the panel? Uh, yeah, yeah, we will. So we can get the hell out of here, please. Ah, oh, you can go to the service. Service? The surface. Surface or service the surface. Something like that. Oh, sweet merciful Jesus. Please can I have my heavy machine gun back? Oh, yes. 12k in the bank. That'll do. Oh, we can move again. Oh my god, we can move again. Um, right, so... Oh, hello. Oh, hey, Dildo. How's the water? Uh, I don't recommend the diving in this resort. Hey, this is David. Is anyone there? Answer me, over! I knew you were alive. Yo, Dylan! I found survivors here! Really? We're about to give up. Where are you? Convenient. David! David! Edward City. That's not far from here. Let's go! Well, I mean, Regina knows what's up. Alright. Regina used the city's... Okay. Let's go to Edward City, I suppose. Ah, uh, oh, yes. Well, I... Okay. I mean, we've got some jet skis here, I suppose. Now, okay, let's just go through. I don't really like playing as Dildo because I I really honestly do not like his weapons. I'm hoping we get something a little bit meatier soon because, yeah, oh yeah, of course. That um, combo counter really does last quite a while now doesn't it yeah quite happy with that to be honest a huge a large herbivore reptile a triceratops has crashed into a wall and died it seems that someone shot it with a poison bullet causing its nervous system to break down yeah well we know somebody that used to like using poison bullets don't we Regina, I'm looking at you. Ooh. Alright, nice combo there. Happy with that. Is another one going to jump over the fence? Ooh, he's not done yet. He's done now, boy. Fried his ass. Oh my god, it's so good to be back outside. Oh, it's so good. So freaking good to be back outside. Ah, oh, sweet merciful Jesus. I don't know, man. I, I do kind of like this weapon, actually. Is that my final answer? Oof, I'm not sure. Oh, if we got one more, I think we would have got a bonus there. 
Nothing here? I thought this might be a save room. I guess not. I would like a save room. Oh, it is. We just don't have that. Ooh, hello, friend. Yeah, another one of you guys. Must admit, our um, solid cannon, I think that, yeah, solid cannon, makes short work of you. Okay. Now, let's see if we can buy some heavy weapons for this guy. Anti-tank rifle. Well, now. All right. And a chain mine. Uh, why does that just sound crap? Uh, right. Penetrates through almost anything. The recoil is so tremendous, you'll have to stop and fire. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Fires five mines into the ground, blasting them instantaneously, and turns the enemy on its back. Ugh. Yeah, these really don't sound like super fun. Uh, I guess. Ooh, lightweight armor. Ah. Uh, do we need it? I mean, re reducing the damage by half is a uh, not insignificant amount. How much are these guns? Well, that's cheap. That not so much cheap. All right, I'll bite. I will bite. And that leaves us with 16k, and we need basically 40k for that. All right. Um. We don't get many, do we? Plus 50 is 6,000. Sure. Why not? Okay. All right. All right. We'll we'll check this weapon out, I suppose. Uh Ah. Oh, it's a sub weapon. Oh, that's lame. <sighs> yeah. That's lame. That's really freaking lame. Can we fight that guy again? Oh, that's so lame game. Come on. Really? You dummy dirty, man. You really done me dirty. Did it actually say that it was a sub weapon in the description? It may have. I just missed that part. Anyone want to try this? You want to try this? Uh. I mean, it's not great, but it's. Something, I suppose. Yeah. There's a large bite mark. It could be the bite mark of a dinosaur we've yet to see. Oh, no, that's bollocks. Yeah, sub weapon. Uh, I don't know. It's alright, I guess, I suppose. You found a new dino file. Ooh. Okay. Bit of a big boy. Observation records. The cave route which leads uh, to the city passes through a volcano. Two years ago, the volcano suddenly started acting up. Uh, from about that same time, the four-legged creature began appearing. They seem to favor hot and dark places. We believe that these four-legged creatures were herbivores due to the scarcity of living organisms in their habitat. But when one of our men was attacked by one of them, we learned that they were actually omnivores. Although they were slow, we have to find ways to counter them. Combat record. We still have yet to find a way to fight them. It's their ultra-hard armor which make that they, that they wear... So he put his little hat on when he gets out of bed, shine his shoes up, nice little bow tie, not forgetting to slap on his armor. 
that they wear oh, that make them so tough. No regular firearm will hurt them. Their jaws are also very strong, strong enough to crush even a helmet. Uh, the only effective way we know so far is when they attack, they stand on their hind legs. This is when you should shoot their stomach, which seems to be the weak point. Currently, a prototype weapon is in late development. Ah, uh, this mine-like weapon. This mine-like weapon, when complete, should flip them on their backs. But we don't know for sure if it will really work. Well, that's fine, I guess. Yeah, this is still the weapon for Dildo to use. Alright, let's see if we can grind out some cash then, I suppose. So that mine weapon, we actually technically do need. Cheers. Cheers, dude. Thanks. Get up, Dildo. Jesus. I don't know if we get extra money for countering. I'm not sure. But at least they only come from one side here. Pretty much come straight down the corridor, which is fairly convenient, to be honest. Apart from when you obviously get here. Yes, keep racking in that combo. There we go. That's what we're talking about. There we are. Who's next? Anyone? Somebody's always next. If Dildo's not careful, it's going to be him. Any more? Any more? Oh, we can't have mined these guys out already. Ah, yeah, maybe we have. Hmm. Disappointing. Are there none left who would challenge Mighty Dildo? Really? Oh, uh, see, that's the problem with switching um, your sub weapon is you need your stupid starting sub weapon to open doors, which I don't like. I'm not a fan of that, to be honest. Uh, I mean, we got a pitiful amount of. M oh, we got normal dinos here now. All right, happy with that. Oh, there we go. Here we go. Oh, that was... That was good. We got saved because we're using this weapon. Any more? Yep. I guess so. That's it, bitches. Alright, well, I was half expecting uh, pterodactyls or some shit to be back here now. But I'm happy to be disappointed. Although it's not really a disappointment. It's a sigh of relief. Ooh. Ha <laughs> ha Yeah, that works. This is going to be the rough bit here. Alright. So those black dinos, they seem to be weaker. Although, not by much. Yeah, they seem to only take one blast. Whereas the red dinos, they seem to be able to take a hit or ten. That's it. It's not bad. Alright. I mean, if we keep going at that rate, we should be able to afford that rifle fairly soon. Although, I can't help but already be prepared for disappointment with it the idea that we have to stand I mean I maybe that's like I don't know dildos fucking um, it's not a uh, rocket launcher I guess so which makes me think it's probably going to be a very low ammo weapon at least we can mine here a little bit mine or should I say farm oh that was actually very Lucky. Very lucky indeed there. Here we go. Come on. Yes. 
You know what? I give the solid cannon like a really hard time. I know, I know I do. But it's not that bad. Uh oh. Oh, you could have had me. Oh, I fucking gift wrapped myself for you. Oh, I handed my ass to you on a silver plate, dude. Yeah, I guess he wasn't hungry. But anyway, even if this thing does have really hard armor, surely the fact that we're using an electrical based weapon should at least do something. I mean, this thing's going to be putting out some serious charge. Ah, I guess we got all these guys. Did we? All of them? Really? Are you sure? Every single one? Yeah, looks like it. Alright, how many extinction points do we have? Ah, oh, nowhere near, man. Um, nothing left to buy there. Uh, okay, fine. Guess we'll charge this thing back up. Now, I know I, I charge my weapon. Actually, I'll save it too. I know I charge my weapons too often. But... Ammo is really cheap. Um, and grinding out ammo for... Well, I say that. Actually, grinding out ammo is um, money is trivial. But the dinosaurs are not actually unlimited. Like I ri uh, originally thought. You can kill them all. Uh, which, um, yeah, that's strange. Uh, not sure how I feel about that. I mean, I guess I don't really care about it either way. Because you do get a lot of money. But there we go. Anyway, I suppose... Let's push on through here. I'm guessing these big green lizards are worth a good amount of cash. Uh... See, if we have to use this as a tool, I think it should just be equipped to a, or bound to just a weapon at, or a button at all times. I don't like the way we have to keep switching to it. I know it, it seems like a little thing, and it, I guess it is, but it's just annoying. Ooh, spoopy. Ooh, hello. A motorboat has been deserted. The bottom of the boat has been severely dented. Could it be that it was attacked by something in the lake? Oh, I don't know, Captain Genius. Maybe it left the factory that way. Or maybe they were just having a party on board. Who knows? Ooh. Look, this is David's mark. Ah, oh, they're actually wearing the armor. I just noticed That's that. Very cautious of him. That's how you survive. That's cool. Let's look for another mark. Okay, let's split up then. I like the way they're actually wearing the armor. I didn't notice that on Dildo's uniform. But yeah, Regina's looking pretty badass now. Oh, oh, hello. These little things. Now, um, I think. If I'm remembering correctly, it was recommended to me that with these guys, we should use the shotgun because it's quicker and it's all we need. So, uh, I don't know about that actually. It's not great. It sounds good and you really think it would be a pretty badass weapon. But, as shotguns and games go, it's pretty rubbish, in my opinion. But it is faster, though. I mean, I give them that. It is faster. Looks like we can mine this area out a little bit. That's a five. That's a five piece. Give me a six piece. There we go. That's it. That's it. Keep going. Yeah, I guess that's all of them. Oh no, maybe not. Got a few slackers. 
Come on, man. Oh, oh yeah, I remember. No, these guys always came in two different colours, didn't they? Because you got the green ones that kind of just spit at you, I think. And the red ones charge you? Or the other way around? Yeah, that's all of them. Alright, now I think the the shotgun is just uh, obsolete at this point. I know, it feels strange to say that a shotgun is obsolete, but I think we're, we're there. Uh, I think we needed like another 10k. Ooh. No, he's dead. Yeah, this also puts them down in one shot. Yeah, it's going to be hard to get the kill bonuses on these things. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what the controls were doing there. <laughs> I have no idea. That was odd. Yeah, so when those things gob at you, uh, it's actually fairly easy to avoid, I suppose. That's another 11k. Now, I... Oh, okay. I probably don't... Ah, oh, you bastards. Don't need to grind out this much. But, yeah, the grinding's fun. It is. The grinding is fun. I'll be honest with you. Right, caves. Now, is this where we're going to find those big things? Ooh. Or do we need that? Yeah, we need that to get in there. Okay, hopefully these things are worth some good money. Ooh. What do you have? Um, oh, that lava. I tell you what, that looks pretty nice. Uh, recovery. I guess we should start using these large med kits. Ugh, okay. Well, that's fair enough. Yeah, that lava actually looks impressively good for a PlayStation 1 game. Ah, I know, we've got enhanced graphics, blah, blah, blah. But the base is there. I really want that bloody sniper rifle. I really want to try it. I'm curious. I want to hold that bad boy in my hands. Ooh, ah, uh, here we go. Okay. I mean, you're not a looker, are you? Alright. Okay. I mean, I... Uh, I guess I was expecting more. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Not bad. Uh, so they really are just giving us a lot of health kits here. Yeah, I okay, I thought these things would be a little bit tougher. And for some reason, I thought they'd be bigger as well, but... Whatever. They also appear to stay on their backs for quite a while. Ooh. <laughs> I mean, ow. Fuck you. We were on our way there to get a decent count. Oh, great. Really, dude? Alright, this is a bit of a bastard of an area. I'm glad I upgraded the capacity of this thing. Definitely glad about that. All right. Ooh. Come to Papa. Definitely aren't gonna argue about fighting an enemy that's worth 600 bucks per sh per kill. That's not bad. Nearly 10k in the bank. Happy with that. Ooh, hello. Come on, big boy. There you go. Uh, all right. Where are you? 
So I guess that's the way that we have to go. So what was this way? Oh, great. Yeah. Yeah, let's just fucking aim at the floor, you absolute dildo. Oh, God. Dildo, you suck. Yeah, he really sucks. Kind of liking the idea of this grenade launcher combo thing. Yeah, see, and again, there you go. You click the attack button, but he doesn't aim at the next target. It really doesn't work very well. But, hey, whatever. Guess he's behind us. Definitely glad I upgraded how many rounds we have for this thing. So this is danger again, this way. Am I lost? Am I going back the way I came? Am I? I don't know. Ah. Uh, oh, good. Yes. Excellent. No, we didn't come up a ladder, did we? So what was the other way? I mean, I can't imagine that there would be too many of these things here. Because otherwise the game's just literally allowing you to mine out cash pretty much in infinite numbers. I mean, 600 bucks a piece? Right, so what was this way then? Does that just lead you? It just leads you to the same place, doesn't it? Well, it does. So, what was the point in that? I guess it's a shortcut. That makes sense, I suppose. Disappointing sense, but it makes sense. Right, so we've got two different choices here. Oh, hello. What are you? Will we take, yeah, we'll take a medium med pack. Sure, I suppose. I guess that's all that was there. That's fine. These guys, they're not too bad, really. What really kind of screws you over here is the camera angles. <coughs> because although these things can attack us, Half the time, they're behind cover. and They can attack us, but we can't really attack them. Which isn't very nice, you know. Like, where's, where is it? It's over, is it over there? It's over there. Okay. Yeah, again, game design is just really falling apart here. All right. They're 100% used. Oh, God. Did we get hit there? Maybe. They absolutely used the wrong um, camera system for this game. Without a doubt. You can't even defend it. So, yeah, and that's just a shortcut. Also, I've noticed when we fire that, Dildo jumps backwards, which quite often bumps you back into another scene transition so you have more enemies to deal with yeah it's this it, this game is starting to suffer with a lot of gameplay design issues really um, it's not bad it's not bad uh, at all really it's just a lot of quality of life issues okay I definitely prefer this to Dino Crisis 1 now, oh, we can afford. Oh, hello. Double hat. So he gets a rocket launcher as well. Well, I mean, let's try the rifle. Um, 
50 rounds. Let's... Is is Okay, it's expensive. Let's double it up to 100. I mean, 100 rounds in this game. Oh, we could use charging that as well. 100 rounds... In, uh, not charging that. We could just recharge its ammo. 100 rounds in this game isn't a lot. Like, at all. Do we want to... Oh, we need to save the... We're on 35 minutes. See, and again, although I'm complaining about certain things about this game, um, I'm really enjoying it, which you can tell, because I'm not noticing the time going. Um, yeah, uh, I think, like I said, I think they could have gone for an... Well, I don't want to say an over-the-shoulder kind of... Um, yeah, they could have gone for an over-the-shoulder sort of view, or maybe a more of a top-down kind of perspective, or something. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't think the uh, perspective choice of this game is helping it at all. Uh, but there we go. That would be my only criticism, to be honest, so far, of what has been, to this point, an absolute joy to play. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.